Do you ever feel like your PC has enough RAM, but games still lag or your editing software slows down? Maybe you've got 16 or 32 gigabytes installed, but Task Manager shows it running at half speed, or your FPS drops when you open Chrome or Discord in the background. That's because your RAM isn't always running at its true potential. By default, Windows and your motherboard often limit RAM speed and performance, leaving a lot of power unused. So in today's video, I'll show you how to fully unlock your RAM speed, optimize memory settings, reduce stutters, and make your PC smoother for both gaming and productivity. Whether you're editing videos, playing Valorant, or streaming, these tweaks will help you get the maximum performance out of your system. Let's start unlocking your RAM. So the first thing that you need to do is head to the link in the description below and open up this website, which is the official website for the ISLC download. Here you should see a big download ISLC button. Just click on that and then just select a place for your download to be saved and click on save. Once your download is complete, locate the file. It should look something like this. It should contain these files and then you need to look for the ISLC EXE and then just double click. So once ISLC opens up, the first thing that you need to do is check both of these options right here. What this does is opens up ISLC once you boot up your PC and starts working in the background, so you don't need to manually open it every time you turn on your PC. Next, what you need to do is go to this box which says free memory is lower than, and for the first one, we're not gonna modify that, but in this box, what you need to do is enter half the amount of your RAM. So how do you actually find out what's the exact megabytes of RAM that you have installed? What you need to do is go to your start button, right click that, and then just click on task manager. Inside of task manager, go to performance, click on memory, and then you should see these three dots right here, which says see more. Click on this and then open up resource monitor. Once you're inside of the resource monitor, what you need to do is go to the memory tab and down here in the physical memory tab, if you click on that, you should see the amount of installed memory that you actually have. So what you need to do is ignore the total memory and take the number from the installed memory. Open up calculator and then inside of calculator, just enter the number that is the. So for me, it's this one and then just divide the number by two. And the number that you get right here, just copy that and then just paste it inside of this box right here. It might not allow pasting, so you can just type it out and then just press enter and then click on purge standby list. So the next tweak can actually reduce your input delay. So here what you need to do is inside of the wanted time resolution box, you need to change the number from 1.0 to 0.5. Once you do that, click on enable custom time resolution and then click on start. For the ISLC pulling rate, you need to set that to 1000. And one setting that you can experiment with is use global time resolution requests. This only works on Windows 11, and you also have to restart your PC once you enable this or else you can just come back and disable this anytime you want. So if you look up here, our current time resolution is 0.5, which is the lowest delay possible. As you can see right here, the maximum time resolution is 0.5 and the minimum is 15. So right now we are on the lowest input delay that we can possibly get through this, and that is how you set up ISLC. So if this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. That is all, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.